Welcome to Smart Setup Guide. Here, we make tech setup easy and stress-free. From routers to smart home devices, we provide simple, step-by-step -step guides to help you get everything running smoothly. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips. In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to reset your TP-Link RE205 Wi-Fi extender to its factory default settings. Whether you're troubleshooting an issue or starting fresh with a new network, this guide will help you out. Let's get started. Resetting the TP-Link Wi-Fi Range Extender Wi-Fi Extender is necessary when you face connectivity issues, forget login credentials, or change your main router. It restores factory settings, allowing a fresh setup and resolving most performance or configuration-related problems. Next, plug your extender into a power outlet somewhere between your router and the area where you want to extend the Wi-Fi signal. Ideally, place it within range of your router for optimal performance. Now, we need to connect your phone or computer to the TP-Link extender default Wi-Fi network. Look for a Wi-Fi network that starts with TP-Link underscore extender in your device's Wi-Fi settings. Find the reset button on your TP-Link Wi-Fi range extender. It's a tiny hole typically located on the side or bottom of the extender. Use a paper clip or pin to press it gently when performing a reset or restoring the device to factory settings. Gently press and hold the reset button with a pin or paper clip for 8 to 10 seconds. The LED lights will briefly turn off and then light up again, indicating that the TP-Link Wi-Fi range extender has started the reset process successfully. After holding the reset button, release it and allow the extender to reboot. The power LED will blink during the restart process and eventually turn solid. This confirms that your TP-Link Wi-Fi range extender has been successfully reset to its factory default settings. After the reset, the TP-Link RE105 will broadcast its default Wi-Fi name, usually something like TP-Link underscore extender. You can now set it up again using the WPS method or manual configuration through a web browser. And that's how you reset the TP-Link RE205 Wi-Fi extender. If this video helped, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech tutorials, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.